everyone, welcome back. The Bronx River Art Center Full Exhibition Justice features the work of four artists that reflect the racial and social disparities exasperated by the pandemic that resulted in the lost lives of minorities. And joining us to tell us more about the exhibition, please welcome curator Juanita Lanzo, visual artist Tammy Wofsi, and TJ Mohammed. Hello and welcome everyone. Hello, Rena. How are you? Thanks. Thank uh, you. you know, everybody's waving. It's like, okay, everybody <laughs> unmute themselves. Welcome, welcome. It's so wonderful to see you, Juanita. And it's so refreshing to see that you are working with the Bronx River Arts Alliance. I mean, the Bronx River Art. Uh, and so I originally know you from Hostos and um, the Longwood Art Gallery. So let's talk a little bit about what I guess the pandemic has done for you and your career as an arts curator. And it's lovely, I, I, I can't say it enough to see that you're now with the Bronx River Arts, or is this just for this ex exhibition? Um, it's only for this exhibition. Uh, I'm working full-time as an artist now, teaching, but I've been working as a consultant for Enfoco and for Bronx River Arts Center. And when Gail approached me, she gave me like a very general sense of what she wanted to do. She wanted to reflect on how the pandemic has affected artists, uh, communities. And I thought of artists that had a solid track record working with communities, uh, doing teaching uh, workshops with communities, because I'm thinking, you know what? I want artists that are really out there working and that have engaged people at all levels. Uh, and I wanted to keep it Bronx, of course. So I was familiar with the work of TJ and uh, with Tammy and with the two artists that are not here with us today, um, Regine Lace and Laura. They have been actively working, engaging um, our, you know, people of all ages and all backgrounds and the importance of how within all these, you know, whatever difference we may have, cultural, racial, we can come together. And this has been a very uh, tough time for many people. I've been blessed that I've been overwhelmed with work, pulling resources for artists, working for other nonprofits, creating content for like uh, teaching. And so, you know, reflecting on that and kind of like giving, giving back, I said, you know what, I want to do a show that has that kind of message. Right, so that it's interactive in its own form because, um, I, you know, we've been following BRAC, um, that's what we refer to as Bronx River Arts Center. Um, and we've been, you know, working with them and, and just highlighting them in their development. And it, they just opened up this fantabulous building that cost millions of dollars. And so now everybody's kind of like, um, pretty much hunkered down. So it's lovely that you were able to figure out a way to make it uh, accessible to people, even if they're just walking down the block, right? Um, which uh, brings me to the artwork of these two lovely artists who are with us. We have Tammy Wubsi and uh, TJ Muhammad. Um, uh, I, I noticed that we had some imagery on the windows. Uh, is that images that belong to you, Tammy? The black and white, is that you? Yes, that is. Yeah. So, you know, talk to me a little bit about um, your messaging and, and where you're pulling from. Um, I noticed that in your artwork, um, there's a lot of references to to birds and, and feathers. Uh, so so what, where, where are you pulling from in, in relating this to our, our current situation? Well, I think a lot of it is pulled from the idea of freedom and how we see freedom. And obviously birds are probably the most free uh, creature that can just fly anywhere and just the idea in your head you can be free and that idea from justice I'm also taking it from a series I'm working on uh, based on George Orwell books so the image in the window is called keep the aspidistress flying um, and it's based on George Orwell's fictional book uh, how he sees the middle class. So the aspidistrous plant is what you put in your window or on your table in order to signify the middle class. So how do we see the middle class in terms of health disparity and not having health insurance um, and just how we're living in a society? So I, I, I love that you reference middle class, right? Because everybody's like, oh, it's the lower class, but no, it's the middle class because it, it's really... Right, the middle class that doesn't have health insurance. Right, because there's that leverage of like, okay, I make too much to have, to not be able to have this, but then it, it, it's really a catch twenty two when it comes to that even being at that level, right? So um, I like that you mentioned that a lot, a lot, because uh, again, well, you pull off the one card, right? You get laid off from your job, you pull off that one card, and you don't have health insurance. 
And the idea of the aspidistrus plant, I turned that leaf, okay, into a double helix. So the idea of the double helix is actually also relates to the other artists' work. But the idea of the double helix is also part of the disparity in our health insurance. Yeah, that's wonderful. And then we have um, TJ who went and took something as simple as the mass and created um, almost like a shield, uh, uh, an overall shield, not just obviously that we're using for our, our mouth and noses to um, prevent us from uh, absorbing any droplets, as they call it, um, from the air, but the installation that you've created, it, it almost even loans itself as a shade as a shade from the outer world, right? Because you put them yeah. all together. Let's talk a little bit about like your messaging, and the, the words that you've chosen, the people that you've chosen to mention. And then I, I know you have, you also have that black uh, word that also has symbolisms. I noticed you use a lot of symbolisms in, in your work. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, thank you for, you know, your time. Um, what I'm doing in my work in general, like my artistic projects is about uh, my own story community story and also um, incorporating some cultural references. So um, here in this exhibition, what I wanted to do when I first um, got invited is uh, with the title, we, uh, we All In This Together, I was thinking about what we need to do as um, a way of holding this kind of history into our time. But here incorporating the, um, the ideas of reuse, I wanted to use something that could like very minimalist approach. But here, this is the year of mask. So, but again, I cannot reuse this mask because this mask, we're all running away from the mask and it becomes a shield and I'm glad you mentioned it because um, it is like a shield between you and me whenever we meet to talk and everybody even on the train so we are talking behind a pill, you know, of um, like fabric. So how do I document this? So I'm thinking about nostalgia. I'm thinking about time and also cre creating um, an atmosphere where people feel sort of uncomfortable because this is the same mask we are running away from not to touch. And then, but here it has messages. So it is drawing you closer to read, but uh -huh. at the same time you are being conscious. And the messages you see on it are not my own messages. They are messages. I, I collaborate a lot with community. So uh -huh. uh, community and audience are my uh, collaborators. So what I'm doing here, I'm soliciting from the public, telling them, hey, what is happening this year from, you know, uh, from the beginning of the year to now, from police brutality, from family, from hope, there's losses, there's joy, gratitude. You know, there is also, um, there's a lot of things happening. How do we document this with Black Lives Matter happening? And this is a show called Justice. Right. And a lot of the messages I'm getting is like no justice, no peace. And then there's a lot of names from everybody who passed away. And then, yeah, so, you know, it's sort of like co collecting this whole history of everybody. Yeah, and you know, subconsciously, right, um, before we go, I because I, I, I want to wrap up with Juanita, subconsciously, whether you guys both realize it, you, you're using black and white in, in your elements, right? Because your masks are black and white, her images are black and white, and that seems to be uh, at the forefront of discussions in general. Um, and, and it really, more than anything, um, if we want to look at things from a place of blessings, um, what the mask has done for us is it's forced us to to deal with each other deeply because you have to communicate through our eyes uh, based on wearing the mask. And then all of the protesting has also presented exactly what's on people's minds, like really on people's minds. So authenticity is really making its way and forcing its way through everything. Anyway, that's my interpretation of the art. You know, I love art and I love what you guys are doing and I love that you incorporate community of Juanita. I love all the work that you do. And before we go, um, just share with everyone how accessible this art is to them because um, mm -hmm. I believe you, you don't even have to go inside the gallery for those who are concerned with going inside, right? 
Yeah, so here's the thing. The gallery is open, and uh, one of the things that Gail has done very responsibly is that there's a limited capacity on how many people can be in the gallery. So the gallery is open Wednesday through Friday, 3 to 6, and on Saturdays from 12 to 5. Um, I will like to, I mean, I'm looking forward to my visit the next time I'm there so I can see the show during the night. Uh, sorry, <laughs> during the day. Um, and I look forward and I encourage everybody to uh, take advantage and, um, you know, um, sponsor our work in the Bronx. Beautiful. So it's a great artist and I look forward for people to come. And I'll be going there. I'm posting on uh, social media, my Instagram. So thank awesome. you so much for having me here today. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for being here with us, Tammy, uh, TJ, Juanita, you guys. I just want to mention once again, the Justice, uh, Justice, the exhibition will be on display till December 12th. For more information, you can visit BronxRiverArt.org. Don't go to our Bobby C's Weekly Sports Roundup is coming up next.